Hey everybody, so uh, today's video is going to be on the topic of uh, throat cancer and specifically uh, a, a certain type uh, which is called HPV associated throat cancer. Um, so HPV uh, stands for human papillomavirus and this is a very common virus that almost everyone has uh, that causes uh, warts on the skin. It can also cause warts inside of the mouth and the throat uh, and in other areas of the body as well. Uh, so HPV, you know, this is a pretty common t infection that, that most people get at some point in their lives. Uh, and certain strains of HPV uh, are uh, types that can predispose people to getting certain types of cancer. Uh, and one of those types is uh, squamous cell cancer of the throat. Um, it's specifically of a part of the throat, what we call the oropharynx. So this is the tonsils, uh, the soft palate. Uh, the back of the tongue and kind of that area. So we're not talking about voice box and vocal cords. We're also not talking inside of the mouth, like the front of the tongue, or the gums or the cheeks or those parts of the, the mouth. Um, so, you know, in recent years, uh, probably over the last 10 years, uh, the HPV associated throat cancers have actually become the most common cause of throat cancer. You know, in the past, uh, even back when I trained 10 years ago, uh, by far the most common reason that people would develop mouth and throat cancers is uh, smoking uh, or other tobacco use. And it's actually flipped in the past few years uh, because less people are smoking, but also because of, uh, you know, the rates of this HPV infection are going up. Um, and what that's causing basically cancers to develop in the tonsils, the back of the tongue, and in those sorts of places. Um, so, you know, I do think it's important that, uh, you know, because there can be actually some prevention with this, um, just like, you know, if you don't choose to start smoking at a young age, that can, you know, lower your risk or even almost eliminate your risk of developing a lot of problems later in life. Uh, people can get vaccinated against HPV at an early age, and that can, you know, eliminate your risk of developing HPV associated cancers later in life. Uh, so I think these days it's recommended that actually you know, usually anywhere from 10 to 12 year old children is the time when it's recommended to get an HPV vaccination. Um, and the reason is a lot of HPV infection is actually spread through sexual contact, um, but not always. But, you know, it's good to try and get your vaccination before any of that starts happening um, to lessen the risk of these sorts of infections. Um, so anyway, I think that's an important point to try and prevent. You know, for those of us who are older and this vaccine wasn't around when we were little, uh, you know, you can ask your primary doctor, does it make sense for you to consider getting vaccinated? Um, you know, one question I think a lot of patients have who are diagnosed with HPV cancer of the throat or of other parts of the body is, should I get the vaccination now? Uh, unfortunately, getting vaccinated after you've already developed a cancer, it doesn't really help. So uh, unfortunately, the answer is no to that. Um, the silver lining of all this is actually HPV associated throat cancer has a better prognosis than the traditional smoking and drinking associated throat cancer. Um, so, you know, patients tend to have a higher rate of cure and a higher rate of remission and respond better to treatment. So, you know, if there's any silver lining to this, uh, you know, unfortunate problem, that would be it. So, you know, I do see patients with this and over the years it's, it's becoming more and more common. But, you know, if you're unfortunately diagnosed with this problem, uh, we could certainly get you uh, treated and uh, hopefully on your way to a cure. So I hope that information is somewhat helpful and not too confusing. <laughs> uh, but if you develop this problem or you're worried about it, you know, I can certainly see you and, and we can and talk things over. So I hope you guys have a great day and uh, we'll see you in the next video.